let's get out of arches. I don't know if I'm coming back up. There is a frost warning. So the weather said it's gonna be 10 degrees. And at 10 degrees, I don't think Steve Harvey is going to hold up well. Uh, we needed a fan, but for it to also be a heater is pretty dope. It will drain our EcoFlow battery within an hour on its lowest setting. The lowest setting is 350 watts, and that will deplete the battery in an hour. 750 is like 30 minutes to 45 minutes. So I don't know if this is going to actually be effective if I plug it in with just the portable battery. Most likely I'm going to have to run the generator when I plug it in, but also when we're on shore power and it gets cold in here and we can't circulate that air, it'll be good to have this because we actually can plug it in and um, heat the pipes and heat the front end of the RV in a way that we can't usually. And then the piece, the thing that I came here for in originally and got extra stuff was RV and marine grade antifreeze. It's a bit different from your typical antifreeze because this can go in your all of your tanks. So holding tank, gray tank, black tank, your water tank, and you pretty much put this through your pipes so that your pipes won't freeze over. Now my water tank is full, all 31 gallons of it. I don't want to put this in that water tank and then have to one drain that 31 gallons and then two have this coursing through the pipes. Now I didn't use any water yesterday because I was so close to the bathroom. So now I'm considering going somewhere, dumping my water tanks um, down to almost a minimal running this through my actual water. <sighs> The only problem is flushing your tanks afterwards is going to be a lot. And where we're going is going to be warm and we're going to want to use our water tanks. Dilemmas, dilemmas. Right now, what I got going is I got the heat is not on because it is actually 71 degrees in here. It's 44 outside and 71 in here. So it's already pretty warm. I'm gonna try to keep that going um, as long as possible. I got this little bad boy. Whoop, whoop, whoop. I got that little bad boy hooking up the, the floor. I'm gonna actually open this cabinet and have it face in there for a little bit. Warm up this whole back area for as long as I possibly can. It is not quiet hour which is great, so I gotta have the generator running, and I got the generator running, which means the Starlink is out. Get down. Okay, Starlink is out. So I am going to change clothes a little bit. Um, actually, no, I'm gonna just keep this on. Uh, I'm going to winterize, winterize, because I'm not taking all of the water out or anything like that, I'm gonna see. I'm gonna try to winterize, I'm gonna chop my wood, I'm gonna build a fire, and then I'm gonna make dinner. Tonight for dinner, I thought I was gonna do lasagna soup or something fun. Um, I don't have it in me, I really don't. So I'm going to boil some water and I'm going to make a mountain meal. I'll show you which ones I picked and I'll probably eat my mountain meal by the fire. I spent way longer than I wanted to editing that video and it is getting late and I haven't eaten dinner. So it's time to pick a mountain meal. Here are the options. Chicken and dumplings, chilaquiles, <laughs> chilaquiles verdes with carnitas. Chilaquiles with carnitas might be the one. Mexican style adobo rice and chicken. So I think it's between these two. You're out of here. 
And then if I had to go down to it, let's see what do we got. Which one does not have milk? Milk. No powdered milk. Mexican style adobo with chicken wins. Gonna boil some water and while that water is boiling, I'm gonna go start a fire. It is 37 degrees out here. It is pretty cold. It's almost 10 o'clock and I've put the fire out. I've kind of tried to insulate in here. Uh, mainly the, the door uh, opened all of the cabinets and drawers. So any plumbing behind it can actually get some of the heat that is coming out of the furnace throughout the night. As of right now, the floor is kind of cold. There is a draft coming through the floor. I got rugs down, but there is a draft coming through the floor. And the current temperature in here, I'm in short sleeve still. Current temperature in here is about 67, which isn't bad. 67 is good, especially with it being probably 36, 32 degrees outside. And that wind is kicking. So... Um, I'm gonna get ready for bed. Not much I can really do. I have to work in the morning. Next week is my last week of work, but I got a couple of early meetings I want to be ready for. And I got a feeling when this temperature really drops between 4 a.m. and 7 a.m., I'm really gonna want to be up so I can start the generator and maybe kick that heat on high, super high. But this is the test, you know, full time in the RV. This is what I wanted to see. Will the heat work? Will the tank heaters work? Will the batteries last us from the upgrade? We're gonna see. See you in the morning. Here. So, surviving the cold night, bruh. So the temperatures were supposed to drop to between 10 and 15. Luckily, they did not. They got down to about 20 though. And let me tell you, 20 degrees in a semi-insulated RV was hard. I'm talking about like L O Cool J, hard as hell. Better than anybody. I don't care if you fail. I exhale. No, battle anybody. I don't care if you tell. I don't care who you tell. I, anyway, it was hard, and had the heat on still boondocking on that battery i tried to charge it as much as i possibly could and i did a, a okay job i had the generator set on automatic so it would come on if the battery levels drop below a certain percent and sure enough with the heat on at 4 a.m the battery got low and the generator kicked on which oof, made me nervous because i didn't know whether or not our setup was going to fail on me and if it failed and we did not have heat that would have sucked but generator recharged everything and it actually was pretty easy uh, i fell back asleep and then the generator kicked on one more time around seven so like three hours later and i mean that's expected it takes four hours for the generator to completely charge to max capacity and that's like four hours of driving or four hours of generator. Um, it's not gonna charge on direct sunlight. And I've been boondocking since Saturday. So it was about time for those batteries to deplete. But um, as I can tell, uh, nothing's frozen. Everything was reasonable temperature. It was about 55 degrees all night. Um, I try to plug some holes just in case there were some drafts coming in, like under the door and stuff. And pretty chill. Me and Waffles were mad comfortable. I was snoring, he was snoring. It was it was it was a good time. Um, and then this morning, uh, decided to hook the Starlink up to the portable battery 
And I don't know what I was expecting and how much juice I thought that thing was gonna use, but I hooked up the Starlink to the portable battery and the portable battery was just like, yeah, you could run this bad boy for about nine hours. And I was just like, why didn't I do this earlier? I could have recharged that thing and been on the internet this whole time. But, you know, it's about disconnecting and being one with nature. Uh, one thing I am mad at is I got a Vornado small heat fan that you're supposed to be able to plug in and it like blows heat around. Plus it's also a fan, which is something that we needed and it's super small. Um, I plugged it in in the parking lot before I left just to make sure to see how many watts it took. So if I plugged it into the EcoFlow, would it run? Uh, I get it back, generators on, full energy, I plug it in, it don't work. And I'm like, mm, that's crazy. So then I was just like, maybe the generator doesn't have enough watt hours or wattage to run it. I mean, the generator's running, the refrigerator, the TV, like everything at once, it has enough. But I unhook it, hook it to the EcoFlow. EcoFlow is just like, who is she? I don't know who this is. And it didn't work. So I paid um, about $45 for it, I think. And I'm gonna take it back. Take that bad boy back today. I want my money. These glasses, when they tint right now, got me looking like a bike cop from Chips. It's me and Eric Estrada showering when you don't have full running water is <sighs> I have shower wipes and I gotta find the right shower wipes if you know some shower wipes that are fire they don't smell like diaper they don't leave you feeling sticky and they actually clean you please drop them in the comments um, I'm not going to show you the shower wipes that I have now because somebody might like them and I don't have a problem with them other than the fact that I don't think these are for me. They don't, they don't work. They don't work the way I want them to. And, um, I use them and I just was like, I smell like a dirty diaper now. I don't think I'm clean at all. So I'm going to look for some shower wipes also when I'm in town. I'm also going to just might, I just might try to find a shower or if it warms up enough, I can finally use a shower in here. I just didn't want a shower in here with the temperature dropping so low because I just didn't want everything that I just washed off my body to freeze in the tank. I did drop RV antifreeze in there, um, but I didn't know. It was just like use the whole thing undiluted. And I was just like, mm, mm. and they were saying that that would be what you would need to do to get it to work up to negative 50. And I was like, no, nah, I, don't, I don't think, I don't think I'm doing Antarctica. Negative 50 is a lot. So I'm gonna just dilute it a little bit. So I'll put some in the toilet and then some in the shower uh, or the, the, all of the drains. So the tanks have antifreeze in it. I did not put any in our water tank. Our water tank is pure. But I need a shower. Also, why do I feel creepy for saying pure that way? Push it to the limit. I push it. I'm pushing it. I'm pushing it. Push. I'm pushing. All right. I might just. I might just be. I might just be going crazy. I might. I might just be losing it. I might have been out here with waffles for too long. I gotta go talk to some people. I thought I was an introvert. Might not be an introvert. I might be an introverted extrovert. Gotta split it. Dan it, dan it. Dan it, dan it. Dan it, dan it. Dan it. A loaded day of 26. I need to go charge. I need to go charge. I need to go hook up to something because 
don't, I don't think I want to do another 20s tonight. How you feeling? You feel like you could do another 20 degrees tonight? How was it last night? Acceptable human, bring me mother. Nice. This is also major progress for us. Um, usually when JJ is gone, he just hides the whole time, but he actually has been hanging out with me. I want to say it's because it's cold, but I'm actually going to try to give him benefit of the doubt and just say that he uh, he's starting to like me. Oh, what up, though? When you saw me last, I was in Arches National Park and it was great. It was cold. I made it through. <sighs> Everything is fine. Um, hung out in a day, had a bunch of things that I wanted to do, and then time got away from me. And then I realized I had meetings coming up and I didn't have enough Wi Fi to join those meetings. So I had to rush down from Arches to the visitor center. Now, the thing about Devil's Campground is it's 30 minutes from internet service, from cell service. You get a little cell service, but like cell service enough to join a Google Meet. It took me 30 minutes to get down to the visitor center. I, I missed the meeting, was able to join the second meeting, which was over an hour long. And then I had to find somewhere else to stay. So I still have one more night at Arches. And I was just like, I could go back up to Arches. Uh, but in the midst of being in that meeting, still being unhooked, not running the generator, I looked at the battery and the battery was like, hey man, we about 60%. I don't know how much heat you can run at 60%. And I was like, ah, okay, okay, okay. I'll drive around for a bit. So I was like, I'm gonna go run some errands. Um, I wanted to return a heater. I get to the hardware store, give it to the young woman who works behind the counter, say, I got to return this. I know it looks sus because a cold night was last night. Now I'm returning the heater this night, but I promise you it doesn't work. And she was like, all right, bet I'll return. You can return it. I just got to plug it in real quick. And I was like, yeah, plug it in. That joint don't work. And she plugged it in and was just like... It ain't, it ain't do that. It ain't do that when I had it. I promise you, it was a cold night. So I kept it and then ended up buying laundry detergent and going to wash uh, my fish shirt um, and my smoky clothes and some rags and things uh, for cleaning and my sheets because I was in that dusty national park and not showering those wipe downs i don't know how i don't know how good those were so i washed everything and then i got back into steve Arby and the battery was like Ooh, we are at 50 percent. if we go any lower you are at risk of jeopardizing your battery's health good news is those 200 amp hours of agm batteries work like a charm i didn't have battery i'm not gonna call them battery issues I didn't have problems with the battery uh, depleting to 50% until today. Um, and that is with trying to run the tank heater, cutting on lights, plugging in devices, um, and running the heater pretty much nonstop. Anyway, was not going to be able to make it through the night with the batteries the way that they were. So I went after doing my laundry to find a campground. Uh, because it was familiar, because they were good to us, and because I had known the price, and it was not the cheapest, but uh, for what you get, pretty fair. Um, went back to the same RV park we spent all of that time at with uh, the homies Brett and Whitney. So, um, same spot even. I pulled up, same lady in the office was like, oh, hey, welcome back. Gave me my spot. I am on shore power. I am on 30 amp power. I got every light on in this month. Heat's on, lights on, TV's on. I am Kevin McAllister right now. I deep clean 
Steve Harvey. I think for the first time since we've had him, really, it was kind of therapeutic, not gonna lie. And then by the time I finished, it was time to cook dinner.
Oh, do 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 Next, we are going to head out. JJ comes back. We're going to Bryce National Park, and then we're going to Zion National Park. Obviously, you're coming with us. Thank you for watching. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for subscribing if you actually do subscribe. Thank you for being here even if you don't subscribe. If you've made it this far, I greatly appreciate you. If you watched from the beginning and you haven't seen this, I still appreciate you. Come back, hang out. At the end of the day, we out.